Good morning, YouTube world. How's everybody out there today? Welcome to Saturday morning, y'all. Love the weekends, right? <laughs> I'm always ready for a weekend. I don't know, but like I said, I end up doing more work on the weekends than I do through the week out here. Any oh who, we're hitting Saturday morning and it's time to do some cooking videos, y'all. I'm going to be in Tally Faye's kitchen cooking most of the day, so I got a lot of recipes coming up. I'm real excited. I finally got my Wi-Fi, y'all. I, I can't believe it. I finally got hooked up to Wi-Fi and uh, getting me a new phone and stuff. And Anyway, we gonna, we me and Buzz moving up in this world. We, they, we kicking and screaming, but they pulling us on into it, right? Oh, uh, any old how. It's got my brain scrambled. I can tell y'all that. I I just don't understand any of that. I am the working ant in this thing. I've always said that. I'm the one. Hand me the shovel and I can do that, right? <laughs> so, that's what we're going to do right now. The first thing I'm going to do this morning, the first thing I want to do, and, this, and I've got this recipe on here a couple times, I think, but either way, my niece is the one helping me that's been helping me set all this techno stuff up right because there's no way i couldn't do it y'all i i couldn't do it I, I, it's set up and i still don't understand all of it but for her helping me uh she wanted ain't fate to make her a buttermilk pie so we're gonna whoop out a buttermilk pie again this morning and i'll show y'all because this is to me this is the best buttermilk pie i've ever eaten i I won't use another one. This is the buttermilk pie for Tally Faye. So, if y'all want to join in with me, get you a pencil, and we're fixing to make this pie, okay? I got everything set out, and we're ready to roll. All right, there it is, y'all. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I need five eggs. Five eggs, okay? I'm get me five eggs. Do them one at a time so I don't get me no shell in my in my bowl, right? Five good eggs. Our little hens ain't laying the big large ones yet. They're still teenagers, but they coming on. They're so cute. Alright, there we go. Get a towel here. We got our five eggs. Out of the way. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we need two cups of sugar, y'all. Two cups of sugar. Gonna add that in here. This is so easy to make, y'all. And one of the most rewarding. You make this and take it to a function and they'll eat every bit of it and want to know the recipe. There's one. This is a recipe that a lady made at every church function I went to back years ago at a little church I was going to. And, and uh, anyway, everybody loved. They wanted her to bring her buttermilk pies when we had functions. All right, five eggs, two cups of sugar. Now I've got two tablespoons of flour. Two tablespoons. Put it in there. Okay. The next thing is I need a stick. And her recipe calls for margarine, but I have butter, so we're going to do a stick of butter in there, okay? And I'm just going to take it and kind of cut it up a little bit because that'll help blend it up in there easier, right? But margarine or butter, either one, will work for this. But you need a full stick cut up in there. All right, there's our butter. All right, now we need a cup of buttermilk. One cup of whole buttermilk y'all do not use low fat buttermilk in this recipe it ain't gonna be the same if you do it i'm just saying it don't work out the same whole buttermilk one cup going in okay there we are cup of buttermilk now this is just a preference for me and i'm gonna tell you that her recipe calls for one teaspoon of lemon juice in there, okay? I put one tablespoon. 
that's up to you, okay? We just like that little bit of tang, more tang of that lemon juice in there, so I'm gonna put me a tablespoon in there, y'all, okay? But like I say, the, re the original recipe calls for a teaspoon, all right? Got us a teaspoon, I mean a tablespoon of lemon juice in there. Last but not least, we need a teaspoon of vanilla. And I do put a teaspoon of that. One teaspoon. Bam. There it is. Y'all, there is the ingredients for our buttermilk pie. Right there. That's all there is to it, okay? I'm going to get this thing beat up and we'll pour it up in the pie shell. Got that beat up good you want to uh, mix your ingredients really well in there okay but what I wanted to show you was let me see if you can see it let's see there you go you see all the little blobs of butter in there that's fine that's there's that's good but just make sure you beat it really good and get all your sugar and eggs and everything all mixed up in there really good but your little blobs of butter and stuff are just gonna break up in there and that's fine okay don't be trying to get them to all mix completely in there. That's not, that's, you don't have to do that, okay? Now, next thing. Oh, my oven is preheated on 325, okay? Because we're going to let this bake kind of slow. It has to bake for an hour to an hour and a half. In my oven, it's usually an hour and a half. Because I want it, to, I want it in there an hour and a half. I do. So, you just kind of watch it. You're going to bake it until it's set. But it'll, it'll puff up like a souffle, like, you know? And then it'll start uh, falling, but I I just like it to bake for that hour and a half in there. Watch it; it's however it goes in your oven, right? Okay. Now I have me a pie crust in here. Let me get me a cookie sheet, y'all. Okay. All right. Got me a pie crust here. And since I'm pouring the, uh, gonna be baking it with a fill in it, you don't have to poke holes in it, but I'm still gonna poke me a few holes just for safe keeping, okay? There we go, that's enough. Now, take your filling and just pour it right in there. Get all my little butter chunks out. You love that butter in it. And I'll show y'all after a while another thing I do with that butter after it's Bake, baked up. Okay, there's that. Now, this is important on making this pie. Y'all know I finally got my nifty pie ring thingy for covering the crust, right? Well, this is a bigger pie pan, so it never covers it all the way, so I just get me a little old piece of foil. and finish it off over there. Just enough to cover that little area, right? That's all you're wanting to do. Let's see if I can put it on top of there. Maybe that'll hold it better. There we go. Okay. Now my crust edge is covered. And that keeps your crust from burning because it will burn bacon in here for so long. And I don't like that crust burnt. I like it good and brown and done good, right? But I don't I don't want it to burn. So we're going to take this pie. We're going to put it in the oven at 325 for an hour to hour and a half. Like I say, that, that'll be up to you. You just check it and see if it's set. Just give it a little jiggle. And uh, you want it to move slightly. You don't want it to be in there where it don't move at all when you shake it. Because you, you want to see a little bit of movement. Because you'll cook it dry otherwise, right? So we're gonna do that, and we'll be back in an hour and a half in my kitchen, and I'll show you the rest of it. All right, y'all, that's been an hour and a half, and that was perfect timing in my oven. And this was the part I wanna show y'all, what I do with the butter on it, okay? Let me get it down here. And listen, if you don't have 
the pie ring, okay? If you don't have the pie ring, you can do like I've been doing for years and years and just get you a piece of foil and put around there, right? But that pie ring is worthy of buying, y'all, okay? Now, looky there. Now, you see it's still bubbling? And look, see, I've got all, that's butter floating right in the middle of it. Look at all this butter. Can you see that? So what I do is I'll take this butter and I'll go around the crust with it. Take that butter and just go right around the edge of your crust. All that butter floating in the middle at the moment. And that does your crust so good. Putting that butter on there, just keep dipping it out of there. But that's from that whole stick of butter in there, right? And then just do it all over the top of your, your pie here. Spread your butter out, but make sure, I'm telling you, that's a wonderful little uh, tip there is putting your butter on your crust right when you take it out, okay? It makes your crust just absolutely delicious, y'all. I think my niece is going to be happy with it. And you see how it's puffy looking like I was telling you that it um, bakes up like a souffle? It will settle. It will settle out and, and be good to go then. But y'all look at it and I'll show you up close see if I can get it up there. See, there it is. Look at all that butter in there. But all that's going to soak down in there and your filling is going to level out and settle and you're going to be able to get you some delicious slices of buttermilk pie made from scratch, right? Okay, y'all. There it is. Thanks for everything. And I'll see you guys next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.